guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So this is my mini happy planner horizontal that I use as a journal. And as you can see, I'm a little bit behind. It's actually Friday the 12th and I have not yet filled in Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. I will catch up on that, but I just wanted to show you what this looked like. And here's a spread that is actually completely filled in. So you can see that I do use this journal. Um, I don't post the after the pen normally on Instagram because there are some things that I do want to keep private. So you guys get to see a little glimpse of that in my plan with me. So this week, Monday, April 15th through to Sunday, April 21st, which is Easter. Move that out of the way. Oh, I just shook my table. There we go. I'm going to zoom in here. This week I'm going to be using the seasonal mini sticker book and make this all very, very Eastery, just like I did with my dashboard layout that I posted yesterday. All right, let's get started. So now I don't, I don't normally do like themed spreads per se, but I thought since I have the stickers for Easter, I might as well use them. Now I used part of this in my previous spread, so as you can see, it's cut out there, so I won't be using it today. Um, but I do want to find a sticker that covers up that area. I might just, we'll stick to the colors that are in this square. And just cover that up. This is why I like my happy planners to be very neutral because I don't like I don't like being told, basically, I don't like my spread being dictated by the colors that are already on the page. So I need to have neutral so that I can choose my own colors. I'm going to put this actually right over the square because I think that looks super cute and it's like it's on a sticker. Okay. Now the way that I'm going to decorate this is go probably straight for the florals. And again, there's not as many left because I already used them in my previous spread. Like there's one. One. And I'm going to place that right up there. And then the next one. Oh goodness me. This is what <laughs> I need more florals. Florals. Although there's these cute little ones that are all over the place. Ooh! I just remembered I have this seasonal book in the classic size and I haven't used the florals from that. So... If you can peel them off the sticker paper, you can use them. And really just placing these in the corners. I'm going to cut off the excess of that in a little bit here. But what I'm doing now is just placing them in the corners of the spread. As I normally do. I'm going to cut off the excess after. I feel better now <laughs> that I have two lots of those florals because I have this book and the classic size book. Panicked there for a second thinking, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then use this one as well. It's going to be a very simple spread, as you can already tell. I just want to decorate it very, very simply. But before I do that, you guys know that each week I try and put in one word per day. And this week I'm gonna try and do it all in black. I think that's just gonna add a little bit of something extra to the spread, just making the boxes in black. I don't know why, I just feel like doing them in black. It's strange. Um, this one is cute. I'm gonna cut off half. Cut off half so that half just feels like it's coming out of the lines there. With my word for the day. This 
Then I'll also place this on Saturday, and probably closer to the bottom. With a black sticker, black box. Then I'll place the black box on Friday as well. Already I love the look of that. Something of black with the florals. I love it. Let's cut off a little bit of extra sticker there. I'm going to place it actually right between yours. Right back down, maybe over here. Because I don't like to waste anything. Not a thing. Can you guys still see that? I'm always getting up off my chair just to make sure you guys can see what I'm putting down. Now, I do want to put a little floral here. I'm going to check my other sticker book as well to make sure. Yeah, I didn't have any more florals really. So, how do I want this to look? Set on Wednesday and then place this one on Sunday. I almost like to count how many stickers I've used in a whole spread to, to see. So that's one sticker, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then adding the colorful boxes. Well, I don't know why I'm keeping track. It's just um, making use of my stickers, but also knowing that I don't have to use everything. I don't have to use a ton of stickers to get a really nice look in my journal. So I'm just cutting that little bit off. And I think I'm going to place this because there's no yellow on this side. What I might do, leave that on the tweezers, get my black box, and place that over Sunday. And then maybe place the yellow, because I know I have extra room on Sunday to write, so I can be, I can add a few more stickers in, on this, on Sunday. Oh, cute, cute, cute. So I have all the boxes that I need. I just want to add a couple of more, couple more florals, like the cute eensy weensy teeny ones. And I feel like maybe I could add that corner floral here, but we'll see. So if you guys can't see like these cute ones, just really just to add a little bit more to the spread. It's the spread is so simple and pretty, and I love it. But as you've heard me say before, you can never have too many florals, especially when it's beautiful in spring outside. And right now, the temperatures outside are gorgeous. Oops. Oops, there we go. And I'm gonna add a pink to this. Oh, I love that, love it. It's just a little something extra, but it adds so much. I am in love with that. I'm gonna keep it just like that. Oh, love it. So that is it for my mini Happy Planner journal spread. Really quick, really easy, and so cute. Cute, cute, cute. I feel like I love this so much, I might use a very similar theme next week in my dashboard, but who knows? All right, so if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.